Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn about the thumb extensors. Let's get started. The thumb extensors are three small muscles on the back of the lower arm. The first of these is the abductor pollicis longus. It originates on the inside of the ulna and a portion of the radius. The muscle turns into a long tendon that inserts into the base of the thumb metacarpal bone. The next muscle is the extensor pollicis brevis. It originates on the inner edge of the radius. The muscle turns into a long tendon that inserts into the first phalange of the thumb. The last muscle is the extensor pollicis longus. It originates on the inside of the ulna below the abductor pollicis longus. The muscle turns into a long tendon that inserts into the last phalange of the thumb. These three muscles cluster together as a group on the back of the forearm. The thumb extensors interact with the other extensor muscles. The abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis sit under the extensor digitorum, but on top of the extensor carpi radialis brevis. The extensor pollicis longus muscle is buried under the extensor group, except its tendon, which will be visible as it aims for the thumb. The supinators also tuck underneath the thumb extensors as they insert into the wrist and hand. As they do this, they also sit on top of and cover up the extensor carpi radialis brevis. To help understand the complexity of the lower arm, we can think of these as three main groups. The supinator group, the extensor group, and the thumb extensor group. The extensor and supinator group will appear as long straight lines aiming down to the hand. The thumb extensors will be a diagonal line on the lower third of the arm interrupting the other two groups. The names of the thumb extensors give a clue to how they function. The topmost muscle is actually an abductor, not an extensor, meaning it will move the thumb away from the body. Pollicis is the Latin term for thumb. The other two are extensor muscles of the thumb, meaning they extend or point the thumb. One is brief or shorter and the other longer. This means that these muscles will act after the thumb has been flexed or pulled into the hand. Because the abductor pollicis longus anchors to the forearm and acts on the base of the thumb, if it contracts, it will pull the thumb away from the body of the hand, or abduct it. Because the extensor pollicis brevis and longus anchor to the forearm and act on the digits of the thumb, if they contract, they will extend the thumb out, straightening it. Now let's find the thumb extensors on the surface. Look for the long lines on the arm representing the extensor and supinator groups, and the diagonal line crossing these groups. The diagonal are the thumb extensors on the lower third of the arm. We can clearly see the shape of the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis as they move towards the thumb. Right here we can also see the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus, as it moves alongside the other tendons toward the end of the thumb. The line here that interrupts the thumb extensors is the extensor digitorum of the extensor group sitting on top of the thumb extensors. This shape that spirals down the arm is the supinators tucking underneath the thumb extensors. The tendons of this group can be very prominent if they are tensed. They can create two strong lines that meet at a point of the first knuckle of the thumb, creating a noticeable A-frame on the side of the hand. The one closest to the other fingers is the extensor pollicis longus, and the opposite is the extensor pollicis brevis. The tendon of the abductor pollicis longus is less noticeable as it inserts into the base of the thumb. Remember all of these points when drawing the thumb extensors. 
Analyze the anatomy on the surface of your reference and draw from observation and memory to help you learn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.